What's up, everybody? It's Jeffrey Lyles welcoming you to another edition Thursday Night Live. Hopefully, everyone is doing well. Have a great Thursday. One more day. The Friday rolls around. We get to enjoy our weekend. And lots of stuff to talk about, lots to break down and all this good stuff. What's up to everyone in the chat? Hope y'all are doing well. Let me get my other window going here so we can actually stay on track. I have stuff to discuss. But first, let's say what's up to everyone first. Who's hanging out who's in the chat? What's up, 80s kid? All systems go form Voltron. What's up, Jeff? And the toy enthusiasts? All the toy enthusiasts are here. It's the place to be. G Brew, greetings all. This might be a controversial take. But I like how they treated the Madeline and the Cyclops situation better in X Men '97 than in the comics. Now I read that. I don't know if you see my shirt. Bam! There we go. Let's show Cyclops. So I, I think they had the benefit of of editorial not changing course and deciding let's bring Jean back because in the comic book, you know, they're like Jean's dead. We've moved on. He's met someone, Madeline was a good character and not that she becomes a bad character but she's a good character scott gets to live his happily ever after and that's it it's kind of like the bow on the character for a while and if he needs to they've kind of written it in that he can come back and return to the x-men then they decided well let's do x factor let's unite all the original x-men and to do that they've got to break what they had so what Chris Claremont so carefully constructed. How do we do that? Oh, we've got this fix, this hack for Phoenix. And that was great. It was a really creative way to take care of it, but it did put Cyclops in a tricky situation. If you look back at it, like he really did that. So there was really a no-win situation. I think they kind of fixed it by going, hey, Madeline's actually this puppet of Mr. Sinister. I felt that that long-term solution work but the cartoon definitely has the advantage of taking years of continuity and putting into one episode i kind of would have liked more of an inferno whole homage maybe a three-part season you know maybe a three-part episode three-part episode arc wow that was a tongue twister and then break it down that way so anyway it was really long-winded but i did like how they handle it outside of wanting more inferno what up, Snake Eyes? How are you today? Jalen Parks came in the door, said it before. I've never let the pre Man, these pre-orders have been insane. So much stuff where I know they've got that whole wrestling thing, card subject to change, but it's basically your pre-orders might come tomorrow, even though we're saying they're going to come January 2025. Oh, here they come. It's a little bit tricky, a little bit wild, especially because Hasbro's brands do not care about each other. They're like, here's Star Wars, here's Marvel Legends, here's G.I. Joe, here's Transformers, have at it. So it's wild out here We're in pre-order land, very wild. Matthew Matson, what's going on, my friend? James Green, what's up, good people? What's up, Jeffrey? What's up, James? How are you? David Theros, what up, man? Aftem Child, hello. Play Tarpley, what's up, Jeff? What's up, fine figure folks? Figure nerds here. Yeah, I've noticed a large focus on G.I. Joe's and Transformers. I wish there was more to talk about in the DC Multiverse room. Well, I mean, there is. Let me <laughs> cue up my window here so I can talk all about it. But first, let me get it going. The dangers of live podcasting. All right, let me, as always, thank all of my super supporters from the last episode. Blake Tarpley, Tom Finn, 2018, you guys rock. Really appreciate y'all for everything you do in supporting the channel. And I support, and I support, and I thank and appreciate every one of you all for watching the videos, commenting, liking, sharing, all that great stuff. It definitely does help improve the channel. Give me some feedback on what you guys want to see. So, figure nerds said, noticed wish there were more room to talk about uh the dc multiple man you know i'm all about talking about whatever you guys want to talk about um it's called files figure files but really 
you guys aren't watching, talking about things you want to talk about. I could literally be here talking to myself, and that's no fun for anybody. So to answer that, there wasn't a lot of DC news coming from Todd this week, which was an anomaly. I feel like every week he's really on top of stuff, but this one was a little bit different. However, Target has an awesome sale, which got your boy, um, where it's you spend $75, you get $20 off. And if you spend $30, you get $5 off. Now, before they were doing a spend 100, get 25, spend 50, get $10 off. Thought that kind of worked a little bit better this time because sometimes there's not enough stuff to try to get $100 worth. Yeah, you could, but it's a lot easier when you can just go, cool, I'll give these three figures with an asterisk. But right now, if you're so inclined, if you're so interested, you can get the JLA Wave, which is now up on Target.com, taking advantage of the sale. Xavier, spend 75, get $20 off of toys. So you can get Electric Blue Superman, boogie, boogie, boogie. You can get JLA sort of kind of Batman. You can also get John Stewart Green Lantern and Aquaman. Great thing. No sold out. So you can get these guys and get a lot faster in terms of getting that Plastic Man. A lot cheaper. So that's a great deal. You can essentially get one of those guys for almost just about free. Funny thing is, that's not going to get you to $75. Getting three $24.99 figures is going to leave you at a grand total before tax because these coupons are the only time where tax doesn't count. It's going to leave you at $74.97. How do I know? Well, because I decided to go take advantage my last time. One last time to quote the Hamilton song and track down endlessly so I can take advantage of this sale. It might be a minute before I get some more figures because, you know, but I did get Duke. Retro Duke. Awesome. Can't wait to unbox this dude. Then I got Wakanda. Got him. And, you know, everybody's got Tiger Force Wakanda. You already know what to expect. Great figure, just in classic colors with the retro packaging. I'm really happy that there was no, hey, we're going to charge $30 for this. I didn't do a video unboxing because I feel like there's a million of them out there, but this car stock is so much heavier where it's not going to crumple and wrinkle with me touching it. And I got one more, of course, because it's taking advantage of the sale. And that was for this cow. Wait, she's out of the box, which means I actually did open her up and I had been shooting her all afternoon, retro Scarlet. Come on into the camera. Oh boy, she wouldn't get a little closer. Don't be shy, Scarlet. Anyway, got her and she's an awesome figure. Literally everything I wanted from this first crack at her, such a fun figure. I've been posing her bringing out my original 13 Joes and just having a ball. The only thing, if maybe you notice, this arrow doesn't like to stay in place. That's my only problem with this figure. The crossbow bolts are kind of flimsy. It will not lock in, but everything else, perfect. Love this figure. I'm so thrilled to get this version of her. It makes me want to get retro versions of Breaker, Stalker, just some more camouflage. I think Blake asked me. So more camouflage for retro Stalker. Maybe a younger hair, head sculpt, kind of more reminiscent than the cartoon. Maybe. Um, rock and roll, kind of, sort of. I really like this one, even though I'm hardcore original 13 looks. I kind of like rock and roll being a little bit different. Flash, still definitely need him. So, yeah. But that, that got me to $24.97, so I had to run around like I was on a, you know, remember those back in the days when you'd see the commercials and the little kids get a $500 shopping spree at Toys R Us or insert your toy store of choice. And what you would do if you were ever to win one of those, that's kind of how it was like frantically running around in the, in the toy section, trying to find some chumpy $1, $1.25 or 75 cents figure or something in there. I, I managed to get some of the for 150 to get over that magic threshold. But can't can't regret it. Got three retro Joes that I was really looking forward to. And might be it for Joes for me for a little bit. But these are really good ones to go out on a bang with. So very happy with them. Let's see what else you guys are talking about here. 80s kid. I think they should have never included that story. It's pointless and kind of ruins 
the original cartoon. Oh, you're not a fan of it. I mean, you know, I, I totally understand why you wouldn't like it. And, you know, it's just, it's kind of something if you want to do Mr. Sinister, you want to do Goblin Queen, you got to do. And I thought they fast forwarded through some of the trickier parts, but I understand. Nice, fresh cut as usual, Jeff. Thank you, man. Listen, um, not, I'm not at, not at sponsors yet, but I definitely need to give a shout out to my barber, Marquette Douglas. Uh, there we go. There we go. I was trying to pull it up because this is my guy who takes care of me very well. And, you know, it's a barbershop, so I didn't have a actual, you know, website. I was trying to see here. If I could just pop up something so you guys can see it. No, okay, anyway, I won't be able to do that. But High Bridge One, if you happen to be in the DMV, ask for Marquette. And the phone number, for those of you who might be here in the DMV, is 301-809-6888. Again, High Bridge, High Bridge One Barbershop. Get a quick, nice cut like your boy and ask for Marquette. Anyway, thanks a lot, Jamie. Appreciate you. Vin Doom, what up, Jeffrey and Thursday Night Crew? What up, Vin Doom? How are you? Excellent shirt, Jeff. Ex wow, my reading is off. Excellent shirt, Jeff. Where did you get it? Um, I'm going to have to ask my shirt supplier, a.k.a. my wife, where she grabbed this one for me. But I love this one. It's got, you know, I'm all about the shirts with a ton of characters. That's how, how I like them. So this is really fun. And definitely. Got to have a bunch of X-Men on the X-Men shirt. Judge Dreads, greeting, greetings, Earth Nerds. What's up? <laughs> Ryan Daly, what up, Jeff and Figure Files? What's up? Oh, man, you got a big haul. And, and you're, you're giving me the entryway, the segue for what all did you all get this week? Ryan got Airborne, Quick Kick, already jealous, and Rakondo all today. Took seven days for Airborne and Quick Kick and three for Rakondo. No idea how that happens, but I'm glad I got them. It's funny because there's not a lot of stuff on the G.I. Joe Horizon I'm kind of indifferent on. Everything they revealed, I'm like, whoa, whoa that was really cool. I didn't get them, but the 60th anniversary figures were also a target. And as always, I try to snap some pictures so you guys can see what I saw. Because you you don't have to be blind, baby. All right. So, did see this guy, Metalhead. I'm reading to people are having some issues with his leg launchers or leg missile launcher setup. Hopefully, that won't be the case for you. I did post a short, but these guys were sort of, they were on the pallet, not on the stand. Love my focus. It's awesome. Anyway, there they go. The Ahsoka and the Phase 1 Clone Trooper. Really cool to see them. Uh, I saw on Twitter, forget your ex, uh, that, that some people who pre-ordered that set for $24.99, it's actually being honored. So if you're among that lucky, fortunate few, go ahead and cash your lottery ticket in because you made out really well. When I rang it up at self-check, or at the price scanner, it was $44.99, which is still a better price than paying $50 because it's two $25 figures. But yeah, that was very interesting to see. Was there anything else that I saw? No. Yeah, so that was it on my run through. I did see McFarlane page punctures at Ross. Uh, let me pull that up. They were for $4.99. So they had Batman and the Flash. I bet these will not leave the pegs quickly. Boom, boom. So what else did y'all get? Blake, Jeff, looking fresh with the new hair. Man, I needed it desperately. It was it was going on for a minute. You know, my wife was like, yo, it's time. Not Vader time. It's time for you to get the haircut. Tom Finn, 2018. Meh, Gene's alive. Gene's dead. Gene's alive. Gene's dead. It's like Magneto. Is he good or evil this week? You know, I, I think where they kind of went into problems later on with the X-Men were, we killed Gene. We're bringing her back. And I feel like She's a character that had one pass to come back. And it was it was so well done. They should have never written her off because she's dead ever again. But I'm with you on that. 
Excuse me. Robert's Infinite Realms. What's going on? Hey, Jeffrey. Talking Inferno. I thought it was okay, but needed more build. Yeah, it was... Inferno is one of my favorite Marvel comic crossovers just because of the scope of it. it involved Uncanny X-Men who were slowly getting possessed because they were too close to Madeline, X-Factor, and the New Mutants. And now, of course, your random spinoff books, your tie-ins with other characters in the MCU. And that was the first time we got X-Factor and Uncanny X-Men actually coming face to face. In the Fall of Mutants, Mutant Massacre, they were kind of around each other. Oh, I think I heard them on the TV, but they never come face to face. This time they did. It was awesome and just really great. Archangel, Wolverine, it was it was like, oh, this is great stuff. Anyway, yeah, I mean, this was as good as they could do with it since they didn't want to spend multiple episodes on it. David Thanos, anybody taking advantage of that Target deal for toys? This guy, absolutely. I mean, Target's an affiliate of mine, but I would always champion them for like, they have the best sales. So I can't stand Walmart gets exclusives because it's like, what's the point? They're never going to have anything ever on sale. And it's so much fun when you can go, all right, let me roll the dice on this one. Can I get it? Can I wait? And actually get rewarded from a sale. And you know, even if they just had that basic one, five off of 30, it would have been good. Now, as I said that, my bolt from Scarlet's crossbow, I think has managed to go into my keyboard. That's not ideal. There we go. Wild stuff. It's a crazy Thursday night live. Brian, oh, I also got a pulse shipping soon notice for gears, which is a fast turnaround. Man, the absolute fastest. Wow. I mean, what do, what do they have him up for pre-order? That is, I mean, I shouldn't even say it's insane anymore because their pre-orders are just going nuts. But I know he's sold out over there. I think he might be so sold out. I don't see him on Pulse's site, which is not shock, but a little bit interesting. Hmm. That's weird. I can't stand the search engine sometimes because it's like I just put in gears and no gears. Wow. They should make this so hard. Anyway, maybe I can find them a little easier. Not from going up there. Not from adding his name in, but just going, let's just go to Transformers. Okay, let's see. Will gear show up here? Looks like a Looks like a really swift no. So I was trying to see when the actual pre-order or announced shipping date for him was, but yeah, no go there. 80s good. My wallet is hungry for cash to spend on cool toys this year. Same. It is just so much stuff. X, what's good, man? Digging your X-Men shirt. Thank you. It's one of my favorites just because there's so many X-Men. Classic Jim Lee artwork on it, too. Finish Bob. Jeffrey, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing good, BB. How are you? 80s kid. Jeff, I saw the new Superman at Target yesterday. He looked super fittingly. I might have to get it. Even it looks like David Corn's what? Uh, are you talking about the classic one or another one? I keep seeing that steel both versions, the regular and the platinum, which I feel is not always the case with McFarland figures, but I guess maybe people just don't want it. Snake Eyes, I'm sorry to hear about your teeth. Hopefully, you will be doing okay soon, my friend. <laughs> it's all about, all about quickly getting them in before everyone catches it. David Thanos, I take advantage of some NECA figures since they're barely, well, since they barely put them on those deals. On top of the special going, now I had 25 Target Circle rewards. I love the Target Circle rewards. The, the only thing is when you go apply, it's like just seeing it all wipe away. Now I'm back to a dollar and six. I had a nice little, nice little stockpile of Target rewards going. And I was like, I want to use it for a big payoff. I think I use it right. Use it at the right time. But yeah, it, it's great to be able to use those. What necro figures did you get? 
Jay Woods, happy Thursday, Jeffrey and chat. What do you think of the Deadpool Wolverine reissues from Hasbro? I got them on the list, Jay. I'm going to break them down really soon. 80s kid. Heck yeah, Jeff. I got my Scarlet figure. Sorry, yesterday. What a great figure. Oh, man. Um, did you know about the sale? Because they're, they're not even... You can't even use that first early coupon just getting one of those figures. But yeah, it, it's, it was a good sale. And really good getting Scarlet into the line here. I haven't been taking the pictures off of my camera. so But I did take one. I can show you guys because I was... Super pressed. I was like, ha, check this out. I'm doing a cover recreation of G.I. Joe. I think it's issue four. Um, so you can kind of, you're going to have to imagine a little bit there. But but since we don't have Hawk in his early outfit, are you going to get in focus for me? There you go. So you just have to imagine those old school G.I. Joe heads who remember the covers, what I was doing there. Northern Nomad, what's up? Usually when I buy three figures like that, I throw in a Hot Wheels, push me over the threshold. And I got to give the Hot Wheels to my son. Smart strategy. I'm going to have to consider that next time. They got me on it. G-Brew. Rock and Roll is my favorite of the classified series figs, my collection. I think they did a really good job with him. You know, I was just posing him today. I was like, Rock and Roll is nice and sturdy. He's got a little size to him. No problems holding his machine gun. Look, his helmet. Just the design with him being a surfer, I think it really works. The tattoos, the fullness of the beard, they just really did a good job with him. Anthony Rogers, what's up, Jeffrey? It's been a minute. How's it going? Good, man. Good to see you back on here with us. Judge Dreads, I'm waiting on something from Big Bad Toy Store and Amazon, Memory Toys, Polar Bear, and D20 Studios, Giant Wild Boar, Bone Stabber. Hmm. I don't know about that second one. I don't know that second one but those sound cool those are the two you're waiting for it's always fun when you know you got something coming in the mail it's already paid for it's like ah no worries it's already coming those, those pre-order emails can be a lot very alarming like oh no you weren't supposed to come out yet matthew gagnon i think let me see gag let me know if i said that right please great channel thank you so much i appreciate you for watching and the nice words David, the neck of figures I got was a Predator figure. Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, and I had to get the Golden Girls. It's a Miami thing. Well, thank you for being a friend for this channel, too. Which Dungeons and Dragons one did you get? Irk Reviews. Yo, man, what's happening? Yeah, I saw your video about getting into that retro. You got Retro Duke, right? And Scarlet Spider. My Scarlet Spider is the original one, and he keeps toppling over on my shelf which in my weird action figure mindset is enough justification to get that retro Pimmons version like, ha, ah, you kept falling too much. Now you're replaced by a newer, younger version. Jibru, I was hyped about that reveal too. And I'm not going to say that just in case everyone hasn't seen it, but I think everyone knew what was going on with this episode. But yeah, I, I'm with you. Joshua Alvarez got the new Hot Toys Jack Sparrow, did you? That was a really impressive looking figure. I think they continue to do a great job with their figures. I didn't know there was still a lot of interest in people grabbing those, but that's cool. As I saw, I was like, wow, that's a lot of great detail in that figure. Ugh. Let me see here. If I can pull it up really fast on Hot Toys' Hot Toys. Sideshow Collectible. Another of my dear associates. Phillies, here you go. Can't pop that up. It's a price on this bad boy. Whoa. Let me see here. All right, so we have the regular edition, because I was seeing that one already has hit the wait list. So that's wild. Let's pull it up so everyone can see what we're talking about, Joshua. So there it is. Captain Jack Sparrow, which version is this from? Dead Men Tell No Tales. I mean, this is really good work here with the hair, the braid work, the embroidery on his jacket, his vest, the scarves, all that detail there with his mullet, his glove, the rings. This is really great work. 
what is this? This one's two ninety. The deluxe version is three thirty. That's that. And that likeness to Johnny Depp is awesome. The artisan edition. I'm trying to see. Is a limited edition of four thousand. What's so different about this? Elaborate. Oh, okay, it's got that base to it. That, man, that is that's quality work. I'm never disappointed with the Hot Toys figure when I get it. You know, sometimes you feel the sting when you get a Hot Toys figure, but they're always awesome, awesome figures. So I'm very happy about that. And hopefully you'll enjoy it when you get it. Which which version did you get? Hopefully, if you wanted, you got that artisan version. Figure nerd, I just started X Men '97 last night. I'm very pleased with what they've done. It seems like they've given some of the characters new moves, like Cyclops power sliding backwards when he blasts. How awesome was that? I was like, oh, it was funny. And I, when I watched it, I said, whoa, 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 let me rewind that. Did that just happen? It was so cool. And anytime they make my man Cyclops look good, I'm for it. So that was really cool. Joshua, my Mezco, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ship, now looking for the new Holothon ones. What are the new Holothon ones? There's so much stuff dropping, isn't it? We got Mezco, Hasbro, everything. And I mean, it was so, it was such a big week that McFarlane was like, you know what, guys? I'm going to give you all the week off. It's crazy. So, 16 Anarchists, good evening, Jeff and crew. Hopefully, everyone's having a great week. Mine is going pretty good. How is yours going? Also, just got Airborne and Quick Kit. Yeah, those are, those are the. The two of that wave. I'm excited about the Techno Viper. I'm excited about Big Boa, but getting Quick Kick and Airborne are like, uh. so hopefully you know it won't be until October before I get them. But I'm really looking forward to actually getting them in the collection too. Which one was your favorite? Judge Dreads plotting my next toy conquest. Exactly. It's like where to go because it's so much stuff. Jay. Anyone hear any rumors on what the Marvel Legends has like will be? <laughs> it's about this time of year Marvel Legends sees us with something. It's March. I felt like the Giant Man was revealed in October. Yeah, it was. Um, so we have that. So it's maybe a few more months before we even get a tease. I'm interested in where they're going to go. We just got an Avenger one. We had an X-Men Galactus, I would think you would just consider to be a Fantastic Four one. So, and, and I guess we sort of had Ghost Rider on the slate. He didn't get done, of course, but I wonder where they would go next. I, mean, I don't think we really need a Spider-Man. Hazlitt, I don't think there's a situation, a character, or anything big that would make sense. Maybe we go to Iron Man, maybe Thor. I, I don't even know where they would go with that. g -Brew. Fight scenes in X Men '97 are phenomenal. Just like AJ Styles, they're really doing my boy Cyclops justice. I'm loving how many Cyclops fans are like, "Yes, finally, he's not getting punked out by Wolverine, and he's able to look really cool in all these fights." I'm loving it. Tom Finn, the Mango 50th Anniversary Firestorm, Doctor Fate, Red Tornado, great, okay, and disappointing in that order. Oh man. Who figured that Dr. Fate would be an easy one for them to get? I mean, he shouldn't be that much to do. What was wrong with Red Tornado? I could figure maybe the stripes not aligning, maybe the head sculpt being a little wacky. Let me know. Chamberlain, I got Techno Vipers in over the weekend. How many action soldiers showed up yesterday and today? Big Boa, Airborne, Quick Kick, and Metalhead all arrived. You had a great Hall of Joes, too. g -Bru. I picked up the Cinemark Slimer popcorn bucket when I saw Frozen Empire. I like the film. What about the popcorn bucket? Was it any good? That looks really fun. I was like, man, they're, they come up with such cool little souvenirs that are not cheap, but are cool souvenir things to get. And I think the only one, and you know, it's been a second since I've gone in some big mega movie, was when they did the popcorn tin for Endgame. I was like, got to get that. But I haven't seen anything as cool as this Slimer popcorn bucket. Anthony, one of my quick pickups this past week was a Marvel Select Spectacular Spider-Man and then Neck and Mirage Slash. But I am that Nightcrawler from the 97 wave. I'm trying not to cape. Yeah, I mean, you're just going to have to chalk it up and grab it. 
Um, it looks cool. I haven't seen it on any tags, which makes it a little bit easier for me. Not that I've got impulse by resources, but I feel like if, if I can just see it in that magical neverland of Amazon, it's always an add to the cart away. But in hand, seeing it holding the package in hand is like, eh, maybe I will get it. So, yeah, just, just stay away from the stores if you're seeing them on the pegs. Figure nerd, I got that Mr. Freeze in the white. Thought about the retro black light, but couldn't do the pink. Yeah, that pink is. Then Doom finally got Jada Toy Street Fighter Ken and Goro has finally, finally shipped. Nice. Also ordered the Beast Kingdom Batman the Merciless on sale at Big Bad Toy Store. Shout out to Big Bad Toy Store for their daily discounts. I mean, every every day at 11 o'clock, it's like, what you got this time? So nice. Glad to hear you got it on sale. Oh, and the Wolverine Joe Fix It 2 pack came. What do you think of that one? I'm very curious about Hulk's articulation. And I have not watched a review yet. So very interested on that. Brent Dash. What's up, Thursday Night Crew? What's up, Brent? I got Big Bo with Quick Kick and Techno Viper today. You guys are making me so, so jealous. And I'm interested because I feel like Quick Hit is definitely the one that everyone has gotten. Like, it may be some mixture of Airborne, the Techno Vipers, and Big Boa. But Quick Kick must have been what everyone put into their cart first. Like, all right, he's here. Everybody else, they'll, they'll get their turn later. But Quick Kick is the priority. Just Dreads. Plan on getting Gora myself. I have the original one, and the engineering is amazing with that figure. And he's he does it topple over, which makes me look at that Marvel Legends Scarlet Spider with the McFarlane side eye so hard. Like, dude, if this big hulking behemoth can stand up, you can too. Digging for bolts in the keyboard. Without context, it's one of the weirdest statements I've heard. I'm going to bring it to you live on Lyle's Finger Files. <laughs> hey, kid, Walmart stinks. At least for exclusives. You know, depends if you're on the wrong aisle. Also, the mention... The staff know nothing or care about the item we're after. I mean, you know, I, I don't need the staff to care about what I'm looking for. I just like if I feel like Walmart didn't normally have a lot of stuff in the back. I feel like Target, there's a pretty decent chance. If it's not on the pegs, case in point, these guys got a very helpful Target employee to help me. I got two, actually. One was able to find Ricondo. And then I was like, wait, I think I forgot to get the DCPI for the other two. And another one was like, yeah, let me check real fast. And then bam. So because I was I was gonna be really short if there was just Rakondo. Rakondo was my freebie one there. So I really wanted Duke and Scarlet, but getting Rakondo, I mean I wanted him, but he was the one I was like, and I get Rakondo for free. So but Walmart, it's just they don't ever have anything that I can't normally find at Target. So I prefer not to go there because it's just a waste of a drive and time and then going to the bowels of Walmart and to get to their figure section. Felix, good evening, Jeff and Shaq. Happy Thursday, happy Thursday. Right back, Ashley. Felix, hope you're doing well. Anthony, yes, Angel and the Wolverine vs. Sabretooth two-packs have dropped. People are receiving them, posting there look what i got reviews and pictures right now orion actually has them. he shot a really awesome picture of the champions let me see how hard it would be to find nope it's too hard anyway ryan if you're still watching send that photo for me so i can let everybody see your cool champions picture Just dress. I only go to Walmart for hot cheetos now. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The saber tooth hunt is on before it gets scarce or extinct. X, my first Mayfax figure should be here within a few days. Return of Superman, baby. Which, which one did you get? Is that the black recovery suit Superman or cyborg Superman or steel? You're not going to go wrong with any of them. So, yeah. 
you're you're gonna win. You're gonna be really excited. So I'm very curious which one you did get. Jeeber, I've got $35 in Barnes and Noble's rewards. Immortal X-Men Volume 4, Ultimate Invasion, and a Harlan Ellison short story collection ride today from them. Nice. You got all three of them for 35? It's a really good deal. Ryan, my nearest target is small and not great about stocking new figures, but I might head there tomorrow looking for Duke and Scarlet. As of now, Paul still says April 10th for them. So the word on the street is the Joes are supposed to be on the shelves by Monday, April 1st. Ah, not a joke, not fooling you. It's actually when they're supposed to be on the shelves. But, of course, some stores are at least have them in the back. I think Irk Reviews actually saw Duke Retro on the shelf. But I think in most cases, because I've been to three, four, four, over the last, over Monday and Tuesday, trying to find these guys because I wanted to take advantage of that sale. So if you don't have the DC guy, let me know. I can pull it up and um, send it your way because if you get a good associate or a helpful one or you're not a jerk to them, which I know you're not, they will typically go to the back. If you get one who's willing to go do the treasure tr- treasure chest hunt for you in the back, they should be able to find it because the in most cases, they are there. They're not on the shelf yet. Felix, nice shot of those classic jokes. Thanks. It was it was so much fun doing that. I'm like, oh, man, what about issue nine? And it was like, you need to stop right now because you're going to go too far. And then I started rereading the old G.I. Joe's. I'm like, it was too much, too much. But is it really such a thing with too much for G.I. Joe? Hasbro and I would both say no. Carl the Fifth. What's up, Carl? I don't think I've seen you here in the chat before. Hello, oh, picked up Mutt, Metalhead, and a Transform with the Target special. That was good. Getting getting those deluxe figures was a really solid use of that coupon, too. And they're, what, 34? So it's, they're going to keep getting this with that price because it's like, oh, it's like doing that, that action figure math. Like, all right, this is 35. Actually, they were 44. So getting, was Metalhead 34 or 44? I feel like he might have been cheaper. Anyway, you made out pretty good, my friend. What do you think of that that transformer? Or did you get the the target transformer or just a regular transformer? Er, finally found new figures at the stores. Picked us. I, I I was mentioning it to the to everyone earlier. I did watch your video. Always fun watching the "Ha, I got them" videos. It's always fun for me. Still a hunt for new multiverse releases. Which multiverse figures are you looking for? Omega 579, what's up? My Duke came in from Amazon, but instead of one figure, they sent me one case. So now I have four Dukes. Wow, that is a crazy mix up. So I guess you got a Target sale just for one figure. Firefly is fire. Love that figure. Love that figure too, 80s kid. David got me that uncanny retro apocalypse on Big Bad Toy Store. I did see that deal the day. Those are pretty good price for him. Judge Dress. The polar bear is a humanoid polar bear in armor. Nice. And the boar is 112 scale mount with huge tusks. Nice. Is that good for fodder? Those sound cool. I'm going to have to look those up. Bordis Mortis. What's up, Boris? Evening, Jeff. I just got my arrival notice from Super 7 telling me that my crusty is here. <sighs> My Wally keep man, my Wally is taking serious hits too. Did Super 7 do a sideshow Bob? Or a sideshow Mel. Nice. Very cool. And the Super 7's figures are always loaded with accessories. I needed to take a look to see what Krusty, whatever, all the stuff he came with. Because I'm sure he's got some great episode Easter eggs in there. Let me know what you think when you uh, do get them. David. The Dungeons and Dragons figure I got was there. That was a very good use of that sale. I didn't even think to look at NECA for that because, like you said, they never are included with these sales. FTC Lions BK, what's really good? Lyle's Movie Files, Lyle's Figure Files crew. I got clobbered by the pre order monster. Oh, 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 oh. Mezco, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles came early and books a million canceled my Wonder Woman. Ooh. I should have done that. What? Ooh. Oh man, that, that sucks. Have you been able to track down Wonder Woman? I feel like 
everyone got really excited with Books a Million. Like, yes, they got Wonder Woman. I wonder how many of those orders actually did come through. Felix, the drops are out of control. <laughs> and Gam, I, I mean, I felt like he had to just charge them and then go run. I mean, it's not like he was going to give Wolverine a fastball special. Ryan, gotta say, even though I was looking forward to Airborne way more, Quick Kick might be the better figure. He is so fun. He looked it. He looked fun to pose in those glamour shots. And I think Matt shooting the galaxy shot those. But it didn't look like one of those things where it's like, you have to be a master poser to get these great posers out, poses out of that figure. He just looked like, oh, wow, you can do all this stuff with Quick Kick. Awesome. So, yeah, that was I'm very excited. And the fact that he comes with a backpack, he's got his katanas, he's got his nunchucks. Yes. And he's even got a throwing star. That's really awesome. I feel like they'll do a Wolverine themed Haslab. X, what would that be? What, what could they do? A, a Quinjet with a little Wolverine bumper sticker on the back? A Nightcrawler is a good pickup. Nice. If you don't have the original one or if you don't have the 97 one. Blake got Duke and Ricardo this week and Jack Lantern today. Nice. Amazon telling me Angel on Tuesday and Scarlet is taking her dang sweet time. April 11th also from Amazon. She's still getting ready. She's got a lot of gear. So I was surprised. And I was like, man, this is, they really packed her up. It's almost like a full deluxe layout of accessories. Like if she came with one other thing, I think she could have qualified. But they managed to put so much stuff in. Ricardo's a little light on that. Duke is, I think Duke is a solid rollout of accessories. But I think Starly really has a ton of stuff. And the, the way they did the ponytail, so cool. You won't be disappointed when you get her. Or that 501st two-pack is nice. If they keep making Clone Wars characters, it may bring me back to collecting the line. Seriously. I mean, what oh man, I forgot who was who was telling me this in, in the comments, but next year, which is blowing my mind, it's the 20th anniversary of Revenge of the Sith. So hopefully, 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 let's cross all the fingers. We're gonna get an onslaught of episode three figures because there's still a ton of characters in that movie that we still need but yeah i'm really excited about what they're showing with the black series so far jamie jeff it was two technos and two action soldiers i wonder how far behind my two action soldiers are by the way i was able to get the 60th anniversary soldiers at that low mistake price oh right right what did they they were selling them for 24.99 right that was a really good deal Tom Finn, the Mego, Nigo, Red Tornado, Red Suit is faded from stretch already? That sucks. Dark and Fade is okay, but the colors are wrong for a circa 74, 76 version. What are the, did they do the gold instead of the yellow? So that's not good. So 16, Ernicus, I'm glad most people are enjoying X Men 97. The fight scenes alone are worth the price. Yeah, it's, uh, they're really, showing how cool the X-Men would look fighting. And I'm really hoping whoever Kevin Feige has working, even on the conception stage of X-Men, for the big screen is taking serious notes watching X-Men 97. Because I feel like all our expectations have grown and rose dramatically after watching this cartoon. Blue is too dark on Dr. Fate. I knew, I knew they were going to go with gold. 80s get them excited for the last man four pack from Black Series, the new Transformer toys, and of course the Joes too. Finn Doom, the pit, not pit, is up for pre-order in Pit Bad Toy Store. I saw that. John Battle, what's up, John? How are you on this fine Thursday? Jamelin, Airborne was my priority. He was an early favorite. These youngsters don't understand how much of a standout he was back in the day. He was one of the more interesting and colorful. Exactly. And the fact that like a lot of us, like the Dragonfly was one of those vehicles that was not so prohibitively expensive. Prohibitively. Prohibitively expensive. I'm still messing with that word. Anyway, so you could have the Dragonfly and have Airborne just like, 
And he was kind of crazy when you think about it. It's like, how is he even jumping out of the dragonfly when it's a helicopter and the cockpit goes straight up? I love Dearborn, and I would use that repelling hook for him all the time. He was definitely one of my favorites, too. I think because he wasn't just a traditional green, and he was one, unlike Snow Job and Doc, I guess like Torpedo and Snow Job, that I could bring along on every mission and felt like he made sense. Carl the Viv, need to get airborne since I got Dragonfly. Absolutely. Felix, M. Bison, Dawson, and Ken from Jada, Deluxe, DLX, Bumblebee from 3-0, Quake Kick, Big Boa, Techno Vipers 4, nice, Metalhead, and Ashton Soldier Infantry from Classified, Bruce Lee, Super 7, you cleaned up this week, Felix. X, I got the black suit. I wanted that figure when I was a kid. It's a really good figure. The only thing is I need to find some like big, ridiculous cable-style guns to really get the full look for him because Dan Jarrett did include that in the, in the Return of Superman storyline, so it'd be fun to include those with that figure. Vintage Bob got my Marvel Legends Angel last week. He looks amazing. Uncanny. Figure nerd, Wolf Spider is $53. I wanted that guy. That's kind of high. Downside of the internet is these figure prices tend to raise one another. One raise one another across vendors. There's probably a better way to say it. <laughs> but there's a better way to read it, too. Oh, uh, he's $53? That's wild. I mean, not that I feel like you're not seeing that since you're looking for him actively. But he really shot up that much on, on everything? I felt like he was just widely available. Goodness gracious. As Repulse's website is not helpful for anything when you enter it in properly. It's just like, yeah, I'm not going to pull up this wolf spider for you, player. Good luck. Oh, here he is. He sold out on Pulse, but I wonder if we're going to see him back in, this, in stock soon. I think Fridays are when they normally put stuff back up, so... I see it. I'll make sure to put something in the chat or dashboard for you. Ryan says, Jeff, do you think the Legends team knew when they released Angel that they were completing the original Champions team since they hate completing teams? Ryan, you know there is no way that Angel look is from the 90s. You know, they were like, oh, let's let's do this look. It was just a happy accident. I'm kidding. I don't know if they thought about that because I feel like it was just, oh, we've done all these characters. Uh, yay, team completed. Because I think that's something I would love to see them do more of when they do these promotional shots, show a completed team or show the other teammates with this new character, new figure that they've done or showing off. Like with the feral promotion shots, show her with Havoc, Polaris, Madrix, and Guido. I'm like, bam, you've now got a completed X Factor. You're welcome. But show that in those pictures, because I feel like that's something they kind of miss out on. Retro Robo. What's up, Jeff and crew? What's up? Loving X-Men 97. Did you peep the Goblin? I did absolutely see that, and I did notice it as well. And then it made me notice that the Marvel Legends figure is not painted appropriately to the cartoon version. Carl V, they only have the regular ones, not Target Optimus, but I got one of those cheap $7 ones to bump it past 75 Exactly. It's like we had to do some real maneuvering to take advantage of that. Jay Woods, should Marvel Legends release a Hurt wearing his skirt? Yes. I'll buy another angel. One can't have too many angels, can they? No. I mean, I need him in the blue X-Factor attire. So, yeah, there, there's at least a few more angels for me. John Battle says, I pre-ordered mine on Hasbro when they got announced. So my Airborne, Quick Kick, and the Techno Viper yesterday. Still waiting on Duke and Scarlet. That's a nice haul. Which one's your favorite? Oh, Lindsay Lions. Cancel the X-Men 97 Magneto to get the Mapex Magneto on the Big Bad Toy Store sale. I did see that he was on sale. That's a really good price for him, too. Art, looking for the new Hal Jordan and Wonder Woman. And he added... Did see Duke on the shelf. He was the last one. I didn't see any peg rim unless I overlooked it. Yeah, I didn't see one 
either because sometimes it's more helpful to them to be like, look, this is where it's supposed to be, but it's not here yet. Thank you. So this is Ryan's awesome picture of the champions. Completed team in Marvel Legends. There you go. So you can see Black Widow, Ghost Rider, Hercules, Iceman, and Angel. Looks like you did some work on your Iceman. Did you do some customization on him? Ah, the laugh from the Weapon X miniseries. That could be a Wolverine theme has laugh. Wonder if they do that. Do you think Wolverine could do you think anything Wolverine related could sell? David Dan, it's also got me Michael Myers NECA, Infinity Saga Bruce Banner, and Barbecue. Been waiting for a while to see that barbecue goes on sale like bazooka, but couldn't wait any longer. I think that was a good call. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't think that an X-Jet has to, to uh, be off the books for a HasLab Snake Eyes. Maybe that's something they could do. But it really needs to be big enough to fit 14 X-Men. It's important. Bigger nerd, X Men are back to MCU. X. I don't know about Hasbro trying vehicles again. Yeah. <laughs> or Rancors, apparently. A big apocalypse? I know there's a lot of people clamoring for it, but that will be one. Maybe I should be pulling for that because that would, could be one I go. <laughs> there you go. And of course, since I decided to sit that out, they go, here's four figures. You guys said you wanted figures. Here you go. And I'm like, uh. Just dreads with me. If they don't offer the horseman with Apocalypse, I see no reason to make him a hat. <laughs> G-Brew, I want an X-Factor Apocalypse with his original horseman, me too. Wolf Spider on Walmart, $24.99. Thank you. I, I, I was tripping because I was like, there's no way he could be that price, right? Like he's I think there are a lot of people that still that wanted him to the point where he was hard to find, or certainly. Not in a crazy price point like 53 bucks. And yes, I also was able to just pull him up. He is here right now, $24.97. You can add to cart. You don't even need to wait. So there you go. Thank you, John. Jane went, also wonder how many of us have Emily Subtle subliminal marketing message of airborne waiting for his ride in our heads. Yeah, just yeah. Now, which one? The hang glide or the dragonfly? Because I absolutely want to both. I did see your review of Scarlet, 80s kid. Very nicely done. I forgot to comment, but I will. David Thanos only go to Walmart for the WWE exclusive figures, which kills me. And Mattel hasn't offered customers other options to get these figures like Hasbro did with the Joes. Yeah, I feel like they could actually put that on Creations Mattel. That's definitely something they should be doing because Walmarts are not created equal and they're universally not good, basically, in terms of exclusives. So, I think they are getting a little bit better, keeping stuff like Will Spider on their website. Yeah, I think it was just a happy coincidence. Black Widow happened to be an Avenger. Hercules, same thing. Iceman was an X-Men. Ditto for Angel. And Ghost Rider was like, yeah, we should do this one. As long as we don't do Dan Ketch. David, need to get me a few of those Monday Night War Piper Ultimates. Is, are they already out on the shelves? Because I have not seen them at all. Lost it. What's up, man? How are you? I'm glad to see you for another live chat. Retro Rover. To celebrate the return of the X-Men animated series, I would love Hasbro to drop a five-pack of the original First Class team or original X-Factor. i take both of them. But I think maybe we do. We are a little bit overdue for better versions of the original First Class team. Blake, I want Marvel Legends to do what I'm calling the whack pack. Angel in his wacky yellow red blue suit and Beast in his wacky red and blue suit. Which which red and blue? Let me see. I think I know which one you're talking about. But see, I, I like that that outfit. So when you're saying whack, I'm like, wait, does not compute. I love that costume. Let's see here. I'm trying to see if I can quickly find it because I thought that was huh. 
they are not co op. Oh, here we go. There we go. Found it. Are you talking about these books? So, Beast in that blue and red and angel in this monstrosity, which I would, of course, get because Neil Adams drew it. But yeah, I, I buy those. It's just, that's me. Yeah, fantastic car. Still hoping for that one day. I think that one's a safe vehicle. Maybe we'll get that next, well, actually, that would be next year when the Fantastic Four movie drops. So maybe. Malcolm Lee, thanks for dropping the deals at Target. Animal Man for the win. Oh, Malcolm, I hope you were able to get Animal Man. I think it was just last week. They had him, they had Red Tornado for $11.99. So if there are other rooms you were looking for, maybe, maybe don't get him with that because you might be able to get him cheaper. Yeah, Jay was on it. Felix says, champions, fire Ryan Daly. Yeah, it was. Oh, yes. She did say that during the Dragon Fight campaign. It was it was it was funny because we were like, uh, where's Airborne? Where's Doc? These are the characters that we were expecting with this. But yeah, I'm actually kind of happy to get Glenda now that I know basically how she's gonna look with Scarlet in hand. And I like quick quick kick to go in my ninja scene. So that's what I really liked about him. He was not so laced in with the ninjas, but he was just cool. And, and I feel like we had this debate on the dashboard where people were like, ah, I don't know about quick kick. I'm like, nah, quick kick's awesome. Quick kick is it's, it's snake eyes, storm shadow, tier one. And I have quick kick right after that because he's a martial arts expert. And if he's not as good as these other these ninjas doesn't really have his specialty is not as great so i have him there and then we got like a hodgepodge of like slice and dice jinx maybe scarlet just in the next tier but and then the ninja force because you know, ninja force whatever <laughs> austin says in my mind Legends would do a Hazlap Roxxon oil rig with at least three platforms to display the thing, his cronies, and do and the surface side. Only my mind movies, though. <laughs> Vintage Bob. I'm hoping Hasbro reveals the Strange Tales rumored wave, and that is all classic characters that haven't been made yet. <laughs> that would be a that would be an actual new thing for them. David Danos, Walmart is getting better. I was shocked I got the Maya via three pack, but a lot of people got it canceled. So you were fortunate on that one. Chan, I scored some Crimson Bats on Amazon for $14.99 last week. Nice. Those are pretty fun. Lawson says a modulated danger room might be pretty nice, has it? They never do it, but I dig it if they did. I think with the momentum going right now with X Men 97, we've seen this with. The Star Wars scene when they did it with the Ahsoka when they tied the ghost to the show. It isn't too far off a possibility. I can see them maybe doing a Haslab and doing morph with this new X-Men 97 attire. I think I don't think that's too far off. I think because of the cartoon, the buzz, I can see them doing something X-Men related. And I don't think the Danger Lab is a I, I think of all the different sets. That one makes the most sense, especially, you know, doing different panels, different wall setups. Like, you just have it this way. I mean, you could have them slide in and out. I think that would be really fun. And I think that's something that if they were to go, hey, it's 250 it's 300 as long as they loaded it up properly, you know, with, with some walls as thick as these card backs, excuse me, they would probably sell. And I think people would dig it. Not just you and I. Like, yeah, I like the colors. We definitely need a beast in human form. Exactly. Because there is, what, three different versions we can get? Original, five-pack X-Men, that blue and red. Jeez, we got the X-Factor, blue and red. Then we got the X-Factor, brown and yellow. So there's four versions of human beasts. So we definitely need that figure to keep them going. Yeah, that's the retro card X-Man with a dry brush coating. It looks a lot better. That was Mimic, not Angel. Really? I feel like I had to reread that then. It's crazy. I don't remember that at all. Living Monolith, Monolith would be an awesome Hazlab. Just don't know if there's enough interest for modern fans. You and I both know that's a no on that.
I love for them to figure out a way to scope eternity and the living tri tribunal for Hazlab. Maybe they could do them as a deluxe. Tom Finn says, love the project Pegasus, the rocks on serpent crown arcs. Those would be fun. I see them doing something. Maybe we just get a rock star. Oil rate. We've been talking a lot about Marvel Legends. So let's let's get into some of these reveals that we saw this week. Carla Fifth, Shield Hel Helicarrier for Haslab. So glad that you mentioned Shield because we got to see the full package shots, the full accessories, the pre-orders for this Agents of Shield 3 pack. Very impressed with what we got here. I like these guns, this Nick Fury's got. I feel like I could use some of these for my Joe figures too. Dumb Dumb Dugan, Sharon Carter, and I thought this head scope was okay. Uh, I wasn't going to be too upset one way or the other. She did rock that look in Secret Avengers, so it's accurate, but we got a much better long-haired sculpt, which I'm very happy with. And more importantly, we got Nick Fury Sr., the original, except no substitutes version. I don't know what I'm going to do with this Nick Fury Jr. head. Maybe I'll use it for like a random S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, but this is Nick Fury. I don't know. That whole thing with Junior is like, all right, yes, we understand you're trying to get that Samuel L. Jackson look, but yeah, it's okay. Dum Dum looks really cool, and I'm really happy to get him, get another S.H.I.E.L.D. agent in there. So I've got a squad to lead my S.H.I.E.L.D. platoon. I really hope that they re-release those S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, though, because they were good figures, and it makes sense to get those back out to everyone who missed out earlier. So they've got the firing effects. The Vapor Trail, different hands, that's great. The knife, two blasters, and the machine gun, and the Nick Fury Senior Head, that's great. Sharon, she's got two, three blasters, Vapor Trails, blast effects, two alternate swappable sets of hands. I really love this, this long-haired sculpt. It's going to be a mess to pose, but I think that is really good. She looks different. She doesn't look like every other female figure we've gotten in the line so far. And yeah, I think they did a great job with her hair. Maybe there's enough room and space in this section so we can turn her without too much trouble, but very cool. And then Dum Dum, it looks good. Um, a little bit curious about why we got a gap here, but whatever. He's got the same rollout of accessories as Nick Fury. And I love his head sculpt. I think they did a great job with that as well. So very happy with this Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. set. How many of you all out there actually pre-ordered it already? Lawson, still waiting on new Yellow Giant figure announcement. Come on, Legends team. Legends team Lions, I really need the Marvel Legends team to put some respect on Ghost Rider's name. <laughs> He's on the no respect bus with Green and Yellow Banshee. None. Tom Finn, Sharon needs to take it easy on the makeup. <laughs> Lost and had to get that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. 3 pack. Order from, Has from Hasbro Pulse and a second pack from Big Bad. So are you keeping both or just making sure you have it? We got my Nick Fury with an alternate head Avengers Assemble. Golden Arm 17. One Krakoa era for Horseman at Exodus. I don't even know who those four horsemen are. I'm going to have to check that out. Unless you can tell me real fast, Golden Arms. Vintage Bob. Eternity and the Watch are my two most wanted as Haslabs, Mangog, and Living Tribunal are in close second place, and Ultimo and Living Monolith. Would love a Carter Slade and Horse Haslab. I would buy that. They need to be a Haslab. I feel like they could just be a deluxe set if they really wanted to. David Thanos, this is awesome. Over 50 people here. We need to show the same love and loud movie file stream. Thank you, David. So since you mentioned it, every Wednesday, my brother Chase, my buddy, my longtime friend, she talk about movies, pop culture. So we're talking a lot more in detail about X-Men 97, Invincible, movies like the new Roadhouse to Drop. Same time, 805, every Wednesday, come through, and uh, it's a good time. David, 80s Kid After, Snake Eyes, Jamelin, James Green, Ryan. I can tell you it's a lot of fun. 
Jamla says, Lawson, I can see a modular mansion place set in the vein of the neck of the scenes with a danger room, cerebro, and maybe one or two regular rooms, maybe even a facade for the front of the house. See, this is where they could make use of like cardboard. I didn't like it with the Rancor set, but a cardboard setup for the front of the mansion, that could work. I mean, what, what did a Mattel just do with the Jurassic Park gates? That's something maybe they could experiment with too. Tom Finn, I just picked up a Sharon Carter head from the Hydra Shield 3 pack. Popped it on Quake Maria Hill, called it a day. Ah, I ordered a second Shield 3 pack because I'm going to sculpt scars on one set of the hands for Fury. Yeah, both of them need it, right? Doc Avenger, new Shield agent Stitwell, Clay Quarantine, and Contessa. Yeah, yeah, Contessa was kind of fun. I'd like to see her too. Boris Mortis, that loose hair Sharon Carter is going to make a great Emma Frost custom. I'm curious, how would you just use the head sculpt or would you use more of that body? She actually has articulation. G Brum with you. What I don't understand is why they didn't just strand Ultimate Nick Fury into 616 like they did with Miles rather than the convoluted nonsense with some unknown random kid. I mean, he's not a captain of the Enterprise. I, I, that didn't make any sense to me. I, yeah. It's very weird. So, hey guys, the three pack looks amazing. I agree. Sharon Carter puts on her makeup Blade Runner style. Man, wait a second. Y'all are hating on, on Sharon with her makeup deal here. It's actually just made up. Just because she's in Shield doesn't mean she has to, to not do herself up, put her face on, if you will. I like the work, I think it looks good. Retro Robo pre-ordered the Shield 3 pack. Would like to use Nick Fury Jr. as an Ultimate Nick Fury to set up 616 versus Ultimate Universe Diorama. That sounds fun. I wonder if we're going to see any more Ultimate figures because I feel like there's Thor and Iron Man, of course, but are they going to do any more anytime soon? Dumb, dumb. Enough said. With you, Jay. Spider fan. The Shield 3 pack was great to me. The classic Fury head was a selling point, right? Robert's Infinite Realms. I do catch replays of your movie file stream. It's fun. Thank you. I'm glad, to see, glad to see people are enjoying it. How much is the Agents of Shield pack? I'm going to have to go back and find that. Or I'll uh, just go to Hasbro Pulse. It's still there. Blake Tarpley. Yeah, all you guys in the chat, come to Lyle's Movie Files. It's hilarious. Great topics. All the nerdy news on TV shows and movies. 80s Kid says, same bad time, same bad channel. Tune in every Wednesday. Hey, chat. Jeff is trying to build the Movie Files channel up. Let's all support him. Try to swing by, drop a like, like and comment if you can. Thank you, Jamal. Appreciate y'all. Bigger nerd. I'm kind of invested in the D in the seven inch DC Multiverse line. Feels weird buying lines of different scales, but then again, I have three Mayfex on the way. Which three? And you know, as long as you don't have them all interacting, you know. If you don't care. I do. I have to keep it separate. But, yeah, you know, just, just get the figures you like. Oh, Jay, I would so buy a Zodiac squad because they've got great costumes, great designs, and they would make for so – they would make a great collection of figures. Sharon using an airbrush. <laughs> it's obvious, Jeffrey. <laughs> The Zodiac team would be wild. Wasn't Nick Fury undercover as Scorpio? Yeah, Tom Finn, I believe he was. And that costume was great. The Zodiac key. Jay Woods, Old Smo has lab with the Mandarin. Can you imagine the outrage of Mandarin coming in a suit and everybody going, no, this is your one chance to get the Mandarin out there. Tober Supreme. I had a girlfriend with makeup like that. She worked at Hot Topic. Y'all really don't like Sharon's, Sharon's makeup. Boris Mortis. I'm thinking of using her for a Utopia Emma, which is pretty much the same as the Astonishing with a new cape. Thanks. Yeah, you're going to see how. I'm very curious because you, you got me thinking. I wonder if we're going to see more people doing that. Tom Finn says about the only HasLab I would buy is a fantastic card. I would buy that. And it wouldn't be the only one I'd buy, but that would, that's on my short list of yes, please make that happen.
Oops, sorry. Sheriff's makeup is um, a little harsh, Jeffrey. A little harsh. <laughs> Vintage Bob, 12 pack. Uh, you know, if you wrote 21 pack, I my just my brain just immediately said 12 pack, so no worries. I, I translated just fine. All right, so we got the shield agents with Sharon with her harsh makeup, but we also got a drop. Some of y'all thought when I posted this, it was an April Fool's joke. It is not. It's legit. April 1st, we're going to get this uh, Marvel Legends series, legacy series, Deadpool and Wolverine. Love the work here on this Deadpool. I mean, this looks really great. I mean, you could have told me this was a hot toys. I'm like, oh, what if it's all the texture? But it looks really great. I mean, this detail, awesome. All that in the mask. Really good work there. And just throughout the body of this figure, the buckles, the straps, everything looks great. Here he is with his special magical unicorn and hitting a trademark Deadpool pose. We got him with the swords. I don't remember. It looks like at least his arms are pinless, but I don't remember if that was the case. And he's still got the pins, but I think this is just a reused figure. So no shocks, surprises there. But really nice job. If you don't have a movie Deadpool already, there you go. Really sweet looking figure. Got a decent amount of accessories to katanas, three sets of swappable, or it's four sets of swappable hands, two guns, take that McFarlane in DC, and a knife, and of course, the unicorn. Next up is his buddy, his pal, Wolverine. Some of y'all were saying, when was Wolverine in Deadpool 2? He was. You just have to think about it for a second or keep watching until the post credits run. But here he is. Here's Logan himself. And this is a really great figure. I mean, this expression is awesome. I like the shading they did with his hair. That fierce, intense rah, expression. Butterfly shoulders a must for any Wolverine figure. And this is a really clean looking figure. Just Really well done. Good work with the brush work for the jeans. It's got a little work. Yeah, I can tell a little two-tone work going on there. Really interesting about the belt buckle. I feel like maybe that would have been some culture approximation. If the wrong people see it, but we're happy that that detail got included. This is an awesome shot. Great detail. And again, just, just solid, solid work. And we got a neutral head sculpt, too. This is more from that final scene in Deadpool. And I think those claws are looking really nice as well. Here's everything Wolverine comes with. So we got our neutral head sculpt. Awesome work there. Tremendous likeness to Hugh Jackman. Got the fierce expression in two fists. Claws retracted. That's all you need for Wolverine, especially in this case. Here's the packaging Deadpool Legacy Collection. It's boring. I don't like this new presentation. It looks like they're using way less plastic, yay, for the environment. But man, I feel like they could do something else with this. Maybe a little bit more interesting. Maybe throw in some more colors. I know for a lot of y'all, packaging just goes into trash anyway. So there you go. So let's see what you guys think. Eighties kid Jeff Hasbro is answering my prayers this year with every figure we get. Nice. Tom Fizz says Cap seems more like a girl next door type. Sharon might want to tote it down. <laughs> Figure nerd Bane, Nightfall, Batman, and Daredevil. That's, that's a solid set. Hey guys, I do need to get that Hugh Jackman figure because I never got that one. I really need that. One. All right, Felix. That's an awesome Deadpool, although it's a complete reissue. He has a legacy series. I didn't think there were going to be anything new in there. Bigger nerd. If there's money in my account when they try to charge me. <laughs> Let's see Lyle's BK. I just double check. I wasn't subscribed to Lyle's Movie Files. I'm on track now. So I'll miss the Lyle's content there. Thank you so much, Lefty Z Lions. Spider Fit. I already got all the Hugh Jackman figures. So I can basically kit bash that one. I see T. Vinny. What's going on? I read people's comments about Deadpool's handgun in the original figure. Were not removable? I don't know. I didn't get it. But that's a nice switch if it is the case. That angry, angry head really does capture Jackman's likeness. I agree with you, Lawson. 
Bigger nerd. Back in the 90s, wasn't Deadpool kind of serious without the comic side? So I remember seeing him as a kid and he just looked dead serious. He was much more of a quippy Spider-Man type. Not nearly as slapstick as he is now, but he was always skewing far less serious than some other 90s extreme characters. G. Brew, those claws should come standard on every Legend of Logan. I replaced all those flimsy, lame claws on my Logan's and Laura's with third-party custom metal, metal claws, so they don't suck. Yeah. Felix Fiends, the best Wolverine claws. Yeah, they are. Felix. David, Jeff, just saw on Instagram. They're coming out with a big Bubba Rogers in the Legends line. What? With the UWF title? Where do you see this? Is this on Ashton Vera Attack's Instagram? Or um, just regular person who's got some insight on news? Because that's really exciting if that is the case. Because I'm going to be all about Big Bubba. First, that's just going to make me want the Midnight Express. I should have had my tennis racket in hand to really do it. Spider fan says, I wish the Deadpool figure came with a Ryan Reynolds Wade head sculpt. Which one? Old or young, fresh face version? Snake Eyes says, My movie Deadpool's handgun and the gun holster are removable. Thank you. So, mystery solved. But it wasn't just a Marvel Legends party this week. We had some amazing, ridiculously cool reveals from Mattel. They were like, listen, we're tired of y'all taking all the spotlight. We've got some cool stuff. We're happy about it. Y'all are going to be happy about it, too. So they showed off big time with these. All my notes have drilled up. These Masters of the Universe. Here's the new Eternia Merman. This is incredible. I am just loving the new Eternia line. I was swearing. I wasn't getting any more Masters of the Universe figures, but... I'm all in for these new Eternia figures. Look at the scaling details on his trunk. That's really cool. He's got another gem in the center of his belt, one here. And you can see there's seahorses on either side of it. Excuse me, really nice detail. Got the little gradient going with his, his semi-gloves or hands now. His head sculpt looks really great. And all this paintwork and... What I love about the new attorney line is what you see is what you get. They're not changing up. There's really no difference when you see this prototype versus what you get in hand. So he looks great. We've also got Thunder Punch He-Man. This is where my He-Man variants were like, no. I'm kind of interested if we're actually going to get things to have a little Thunder Pop. I remember back in the day, they did the snap. He has the, the caps like you'd have with your guns back then with your toy fake guns back in the day. I like the sword. That was nice. The thunder punch effects. I'm not going to talk myself into getting this, no matter how cool I'm starting to think it is. don't like the He-Man head sculpt, though. That, that looks a little off to me. Then we also got Revolution's Leech. So this is when the Horde makes their way to Eternia. So we've got a whip with them, and he's got the Horde crossbow. I don't know how he's holding that. Yes, I see now. He's got a little lash there that clamps over his arm. Maybe tricky with these gauntlets, but he looks really good. And never going to be upset about adding the evil horde. If you got him, you got Grizzlord. Why not get the main man himself, Hordak? This seems a little small to me for Hordak. I like, as always, the, they include soft goods into these figures and incorporated so well. He seems a little light in the offerings. I love his staff. That looks great. The head sculpt looks really cool and solid too, but I don't know if this one's getting much done for me. I think he should have been bigger. Then we've got Man in Arms in his white armor. Kind of looks like Tommy in his white Power Ranger gear. I like everything with this figure. I got the laser blast that you can incorporate in there. Got alternate swappable hands. He's got the mace there. He's got uh, I think this goes on his arm. I think this goes to his arm. And then we've got this faceplate because his head sculpt looks really weak. I don't know what happened with this. He also looks a little slight, a little slim, slender, slender, slender. Maybe he's been using Jenny Craig's 
digging the Weight Watchers, doing the thing. It looks a little scrawny for Man at Arms. And I really like how clean this white and gold armor looks. Then we got Snake Sorceress Tila. And this looks awesome. This is a really cool look for her. Nice looking variant. Her staff has spikes in a snake. And it's got a snake effect too. Good work on that head sculpt. The snake design looks awesome. This is a throwback to original old school Tila. She's different enough that I could kind of fake her like a totally different character. And she's got the green hue of Sorcerer's back in those Masters of the Universe mini comic books. So I think I'm going to have to grab this one and just treat her like a variant. And next up, we've got Battle Armor Skeletor. And the work on this Battle Armor looks awesome. I love all this detail here in the plate so you can show that He-Man did get a few lucky shots in. The axe, he's got this sword scimitar. I think that's how you pronounce it. I hope. And this helmet looks really cool, too. So I like that they're mixing up the looks for Skeletor. I think this one really looks awesome. But I think my favorite one of these reveals had to be Cyclone. Like, this is awesome. All the way, the pearlescent paint job with them, the, the, the rings of Saturn, let's say. And then, I mean, just the sheen with those colors just popping. He's got even more of a samurai-inspired look. I love this kind of the kabuki makeup sort of kind of. And then the setup to kind of simulate that old school toy design where you could, the lithograph, I think it's how you say it, there. That's really cool. And then he's got a mask too and the spinning cyclone effect. I love that figure. I thought they did an awesome job with him. What y'all think about these Motu reveals? Merman looks amazing. He does, Lawson. Merman. Mm, buttered corn. <laughs> and, and Blake is right there with you, Lawson. I can't be the only one who sees an ear of corn every time I see Merman's sword. Into me, Snob. What's up? About time he stopped putting heels on the female buck. However, just having a feet flat seems so lazy. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't remember she was wearing heels. I thought she was, I thought she didn't have any shoes when she was Snake Sorceress. Jamie wants to know, is anyone getting the Valiverse Vanguard vehicle? Pre-order window closes this weekend. I think it's okay, but it's a little big for my taste. Awesome. Only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe. I really think he needed to beat He's, he needed to beat Hasbro getting his out before the vamp because when the vamp came, I think everybody was like, well, clearly not everyone. But I think a nice portion of people were like, cool, I'm good. No need for the Vanguard now. So I wonder if he's seen a lot of drops. Blake says, Jalen, I'm not getting it, but they just announced they're removing shipping costs for it forever. That's interesting. Felix, I want the thunder effects he man's holding. <laughs> oh, nice, Blake Tarbley. That's a good incentive if you can reconsider later. Jalen, I'm not in for all of these, but I think the Motsu reveals were great. All their lines are going strong. So strong. It's crazy how they're still getting so much burn. And, you know, Revolutions or Revelations really helped because there was a slew of new designs, and I was watching, like, I'll take a figure of that, 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 and that. So... I'm guilty, but I'm an 80s kid raised on cartoons. So if I see a cartoon, I want to figure. Lawson, I haven't bought any of the modern Motu figures since I've been releasing new stuff. I've been busy collecting the original figures up to wave three now. Nice. Blake says, I ordered the snout spout. I have no connection to the older line of characters, but he looks amazing just as far as characters design and colors go. That's one I do need to get to. Boris Mortis says that Skeletor looks great. The Sky Steiner chainmail on his head. Maybe they'll do some Steiner math for us, too. Oh, you already got Snout Spout, Jamelin. Nice. Oh, John did get it. Felix said, I'm thinking of it on a second Vanguard. Nice. Uh, Jay said, I don't have any action force, but I'm thinking of incorporating all the shield troops into a display with it. That makes sense. All right, let's see here. Got that squared away. So there was one last reveal that 
I didn't notice until like recently. We got Skeletor with his Havoc Throne set. And this looks amazing. This head sculpt on Skeletor looks so creepy. Let me see if I can blow this up some more so you can, uh, can't. The eyes on this are so like, ah, get out of my dreams. Get out of my nightmare, Skeletor. So he's got the red irises there, deep sunk in there. His teeth look jacked up too. And it look a little bit yellower than the rest of the pale skeleton. That's awesome. These actually light up, which is such a nice, nice inclusion. The throne itself is cool. It's got the snake habit staff or spear. Motu has let me know. Apparently the platform extends so he can sit up even higher. That's cool. I mean, this, this skeleton is really creepy and i like it so i feel like i'm getting or looking at a lot of skeletor figures but this one seems like a really great addition check out the fur on the throne too so he's comfortable maybe beast man had to shave for a while but yeah i really think this is an awesome set here is skeletor with the hood down mouth down this is really crazy really just intensely evil and the original shot had it in green. At least have orange. Maybe there's two colors for this light up deal. So here's the green version. It'd be really cool if you can do different colors with that. But the head scope on this looks great because it looks like there's a dude underneath all the skeletal uh, head. So that's really neat. Very happy with this one. The set is $69.99. Not cheap. But I think for this kind of setup, it's kind of worth it. Mage TV PTB, respect for Nashville, Tennessee. What's up, Mage? That looks so cool. Snake Eyes, I'm with you. Lawson, that skeleton head looks more like Alfred, Alfredo, Al Kayla's artistic version. That's what it is. So they did that. That's part of the item description. They said it's based on that design. So you are correct, sir. Vin Doom, I need that skeleton. Snake Eyes, I need that. Retro Robo, it's so hard being a collector these days. It's also hard to say goodbye. There's literally anything and everything you might want available. Seeing these Motu figures are giving me serious fear, fear of missing out. Exactly. My HTV PCD, I'm working with social media tickets and finally got to see it live. Still going to rep the replay team. Appreciate you. 80s kid, give me that Skeletor. Where in Gray Skull do I get that awesome figure? I can get it from my affiliate, Entertainment Earth. Chamberlain, I ordered that Skeletor and Throne right away. The Light of Throne is awesome. And that head sculpt looks just like the Alfredo Alcala artwork in the old mini comics. And those mini comics were awesome. I'm still trying to figure out how I can find those old mini comics somewhere to read because, I mean, that was my key man file cards back in the day. That was how I was. Came up with the, came up, or that was the storyline I followed. Shibru, I'm a bit too young to have been a Motu fan, but that Skeletor throne is crazy dope. Sold! Yeah, Jamie. Hey, Shibru, I think if you are kind of like, eh, I don't know about Motu, check out the Cartoon Network, I think it was Cartoon Network, remake around 2000. I think it was 2000. We called the figure line He Man Motu 2000. That was really good, and I think it's a nice bridge between the old school filmation one, which you might feel is way too dated. I think that one's a nice bridge, and it's got a lot of good action. Great character designs. Boris Morris. Whoa. David Thanos. Love that Skeletor. Felix Vegans. That Skeletor would throw fire. I think he's only got two flames to it, but yes, it's worth five. Lefty Two Lions BK, not a Motu guy, but I love the Skeletor design. And they got me on the new attorney Skeletor. Now they got me on the Skeletor with the throne. Yeah, the new, new attorney one. I was like, sold, sold, sold. I was waiting. I did not get the revelation Skeletor. I was like, nah, he's not getting it done. They're going to do another Skeletor. And I'm so glad I waited. But yeah, they're going to, they're going to, they are. And they knew they were going to get me on the double dip. Judge Dreads. Need Snake Tila. She was awesome. Where is the pre-order for Merman? 
I think all of them are up. You can get all of them. Let me look here real fast. Order oh, there, right? Uh, well, here's Cyclone, here's Leech, here is Hordak. And he's sold out already. If you can't find him. But I can't find him. Hmm, not there. Let me check real fast on Big Bad Toy Store. Oh, he was up. Maybe he's not. But they released a lot of stuff. It feels weird that he would be the only one to not. But it does seem like that is the case. Because even on Big Bad Toy Store, he is not here. There's Cyclone. There's movie Masterverse Beast Man from the never shown version. And uh, no Merman. Weird. I don't know. I guess we're just going to have to wait for him a little bit longer. Judge Dreads, I ordered Beast Man, but may cancel. Two handed axe. They collected the mini comics in a book. Not expensive. Oh, that's awesome. Can you DM me? Hit me up. Ah, thank you. Blake, Jeff, Dark Horse put out a hardbound three inch thick mini comic collection. Thank you. I'm going to get on that ASAP. Well, you know what I mean. Jay Woods, if Hasbro Marvel Legends with Megan Atuma, I'll consider buying Skeletor for that throne. But they do have a name on it, which probably would work. Judge Dreads, Merman and Tila didn't go up. Thank you. Thank you for this for the link, Jay. We appreciate it. Yeah, that that's gonna be on the yes, yeah, send that to me later. That that sounds fun. I would love to reread those. All right, so Master of the Universe, Mattel had a great showing. I'm gonna have to investigate this big Bubba Rogers info. But Transformers, and I have been so disinterested in these live streams. They've done a month of live streams, and I've paid attention and have cared about exactly one figure they revealed. It's, I mean, it's just the life of a Transformers collector. But they've got some Transformers coming that I think are pretty fun. They revealed Party Wallop, a hybrid of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Transformers. This one, you can swap out the accessories so you can have all the turtles represented. I think this belt slot switch, switches up with whatever turtle you want to use. So now we've got the Michelangelo nunchucks, head sculpt set up. You've got the Raphael, switch that up. Size, angry, intense head sculpt. Uh, here's the van itself. That's fun. Here's what they look like. Don't be fooled. They are not four different turtles. If you want to, you can buy Party Wallop four times, but this is not individual setups for these guys. Here's Leonardo. That's setup version. And here's Michelangelo again. There's Donatello, the one I did not show you. $49.99. So it's going to cost you a little bit if you want to buy all four or get four of them. And so there you go. Alt mode and feature screen series accurate deck on details from classic 87 cartoons. Uh, includes four swappable heads and a rotating belt buckle. So that belt buckle is that way. Here is a version of the swappable parts so you can see exactly how they look. There's the nunchucks, the size, the katanas, the face plates. So that's how that's going to pull off there. John Battle says, get them likes up, people. Thank you, John. David Thanos, love Mo2 growing up. I want to buy a few of the villains. Skeletor, Trap John, Beast Man. But I'm afraid I might go deeper into the rabbit hole. You will. So hold out as long as you can. But the cool thing is Target has had been selling them really cheap. So you're really able to make out. I'm curious if with this April reset, we see more new Eternia figures. Because that's been my spot to get my Motu figures. John Battle, the Transformer line of the current Hasbro team is lacking creativity. Are they, or is it just, there's so many different branches of Transformers for the fans to get excited about? Because I assume people of all the other versions of Transformers are hyped and excited. I only care about Generation 1, and really from the cartoon series, really, um, pre-Transformers the movie. I will dabble into the post movie figures, but for me, it's, you know, I think Brian calls them the art transformers. But yeah, I'm pretty solid with them. They're slowly getting more. I would totally buy more of the combiners. So all the aerial bots, bring them on. But 
I, I don't know. Are the collectors of other branches of Transformers feeling that they're lazy too? 80s kid says, my bot, Cliff Jumper. Hasbro did my guy justice. So excited for Cliff Jumper. That wild looks dopeness monster. Nice. I'm so happy Ectotron is back. What a great time for a person who loves toys. Retro Robo pre ordered only one wild. My mind canon is that Leo made a Transformer that looked like him. Leo, not Don? I feel like that would be something that Donatello would do. Judge Dredd is not really a Transformer guy, but I ordered Silver Bolt. So there's another one. 80s kid did mention. Let's pull him up. Ectotron, the Ghostbusters Transformers combination hybrid setup. These are always fun. I don't know if I need or want this, but really cool. Comes with Slimer, so you've got the full deal in there. I kind of thought this was already released, or maybe they showed it a while ago, and they're just getting back out there. These pictures seem like they're really dated, but anyway. Nice looking setup for them. They said I'm not really like, oh, man, I got to get this. But if you're into Transformers in all the different ways they're combining with different properties, Stranger Things, Transformers, since 2019. I thought it was a while ago. Ghostbusters, there you go. So $49.99 for that one, too. Sorry, Don, for sure. Yeah. I mean, that's the one that makes sense because he he's the, the tech guy. And he seems like he'd be in an anime and make a big monster robot of himself. That seems fun. Okay, man, same, same, same. Tober Supreme. Ooh, my angel should arrive tomorrow. Also, you come. Oh, did you last? G1 Transformers Prime for me. I'm annoyed that they've been holding key figures. Hostage, multi-packs, freehound, and cliff jumper. When it's something weird and it don't look good, who are you gonna call? The Autobots. I don't know, 80s. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's a hit song with that. David Thanos, can we please get G1 Mirage? Well, they did, but it was only an illusion. Sorry, I could not resist. It was just like a layup and I had to slow it down. Anyway, last one, last reveal. Masco's putting their 112 Popeye back in stock. So you guys can get another crack at this reissue, not back in stock. But this is a really great looking Popeye figure. The one and only Sailor Man in his can of spinach. Great. He actually does not care about your PC. He's going to smoke on his corn cob pipe. And he's doing his thing. And different looks for him. He's got the, the bag, the bag of clothes. He's got the Sailor cap, both versions. He looks ready to throw down. There, I mean, this this is a fun set. I felt like they made both these guys in a two pack before, but here you go. And he's knocking the big Brutus out, Pluto out that he can see through even the toughest storms. This is a fun figure, and I feel like the price isn't too bad. Can of finish for you, ninety five bucks coming in November. Uh, should be able to hold that price pretty solid with Entertainment Earth. But there you go, Ray Parker Jr. Yes, sir. Snake Eyes love Transformers. John Battle, I'm an 80s kid, and the third party Transformers what Hasbro needs to strive for when it comes to creativity because the cost is crazy for the less size Transformer and Hasbro calling them leaders. Yeah. Yeah, when they when they hit 80s, it's like, whoa, what happened? 100%. All right, last thing before I wrap up for the night. Just zooming by on me so quick. I've been talking so long. What do you guys want to see from WonderCon? Now, in a perfect world, I've been able to go there and, and have my little microphone and camera and asking the Hasbro team directly what I wanted, to, what you guys wanted to see or what you wanted me to ask. But it'll come later. What are you guys hoping to see? I know for the most part we're going to see Cobras from the GI Joe Classified Series team, maybe Raptor. They've announced name reveals of a slew of Cobras, so I guess we'll see a bunch of those. Dan, you tweeted that we're going to see some more. Excuse me. Marvel Legends this weekend. What are you guys looking for? Ah, here we go. Ryan says, according to leaks, we're getting Constructicon starting later this year. And they'll actually be Voyager class, which is how they should be scaled. Whoa. Except it's going to be expensive making Devastator. So they're going to be Voyager class. Will that make them like $80 each one? Or will you figure they'll mix up this, the pricing? And size form. Interesting that they go that route. 
but a Devastator that big would be crazy. Some Voyagers are worth the price. I'm with the 80s, and some of them are. After Child Popeye, the Sailor Man looks amazing. It's because he eats his spinach. <laughs> Lawson says Wasp, Yellow Jack, and Original Rogue, Miss Marvel, Warbird. I would love to see those two. Hopefully, we'll see Warbird and Count Nefaria. They've been mentioned on those elite lists. So if they do show up, you no, know, regardless, I'm going to be back on doing a live, most likely, talking about those reveals. So I'll, I'll be here at some point on Saturday. Wait, yeah, Saturday. The 30th is Saturday, not Friday. So hopefully we'll see the stuff sooner rather than later. A bunch of comic book news is going to come. IDW is going to be there. Skybound as well. Felix wants to see the last four OG classic Joes. I'd love to see those. I think we're just going to see Cobras. I feel like I was trying to find it, but they were just, they just mentioned Cobras showing up. Wild Weasel and the Rattler, David. Yeah, that would be great. Totally, totally would buy that for the Hazlet. Lawson, I'll be watching for your Saturday live, Jeffrey. Thank you. Appreciate it. Gbrew, X Men, a lot of X Men. Classic New Mutants, an updated Astonishing Kitty, scaled appropriately, original Rogue, 80s Punker Rogue, more X-Men 97 stuff, Ghostbusters, two figures. After Childer, this is still going to do more 12-inch figures. Love to see that. Jalen Parks, I'd love to see a Devastator. It'd be nice if they were done as well as the Dinobots in space. Yeah. If we got a Devastator who would who would look like he would go warp. War to war with the Dinobots. That would be awesome. Ryan, the press release said the Joe reveals would be Cobra specific for name drops. I figure they'll reveal things that we're already pretty sure are coming, like Retro Cobra Commander and the Stinger. Yes. Lawson, I feel like Wetsuit and Lifeline are walking in the desert with an empty gas can. Where are they at, Hasbro? <laughs> Most excited for Sentinel fighting armor Magneto, says Judge Dreads. 80s kid wants to see Retro Cobra Commander, Flint Studio Series 86 Prime, The Black Series Phase 1 Rex, Phantom Menace Darth Maul updated, and Captain Antilles. Well, hopefully we'll see some of this stuff. And as always, I'll be here to talk about it. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me on this Thursday Night Live. Be back on whenever we get these WonderCon reveals. So, oh no. Ryan says Raptors is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, so I expect we could see a render for him, maybe for Road Pig and Nemesis Immortal too. Maybe Iron Grenadier. Grenadier, right? There was some big pronunciation, and I was like, "Wait, I've been saying it the right way." Anyway, I'll be back on Saturday whenever we get these reveals. Thank you so much, y'all rock! Don't forget, have a great weekend. If I don't see you again, this episode of Lyle's Figure Files has been filed.